An important issue about using websites, or whether that's a VLE or an internet or the college website as we have here, is that the user is able to make changes to, to meet or to suit their own personal needs. Um, again, Errol's put a lot of thought into this, uh, and as well as some of the uh, features that are already available in Internet Explorer, uh, Errol's already provided what's called some style sheets. Now, if that sounds too technical, you don't have to worry about that because I'll show you how, how you can easily incorporate them into the website. Uh, a nice feature, for example, if you have Internet Explorer 7, if you need to magnify the text, is by simply holding the control, control key down on the keyboard and by using the scroll wheel on a mouse, wheel on a mouse, is just by zooming in and out of the page here. So you can see, oops, I'm just going to zoom in quite a lot onto that page, zoom up quite far. So if I've got any information I need to see, I can get in there quite, quite nicely. And similarly, again, I can just zoom out of the page again. Uh, again, I can go to view, and in the text size, there's various text sizes. If I want to make it large, I can increase it large. So I've got a nice large text in there, and then going back to the beginning, where I had medium, or back. So two ways you can get about for increasing text sizes. Under the tools menu, it's also possible to make further adjustments. So I'm going to go down to where it says under tools into internet options. So when I click on internet options, it brings up a internet options box. This is where you can set what your home page is, where you want your home page to be. But more importantly, down at the bottom, there's a couple of buttons here which are quite important. Uh, the first one is colors, uh, fonts, and accessibility. So I'm going to see how I can maybe change the colors. So I'm going to go into, uh, into colors, and I'm going to uncheck the Windows colors, the colors that have been set as default. And I maybe want to have black text or maybe a yellow background, quite useful for some dyslexic learners. I'll say OK to that. Click OK. And now that hasn't actually made a change per se at this moment. So what I could then do is go into the accessibility button. And I want to maybe ignore certain things that have been coded onto the page. So by clicking ignore color specified on my pages, ignore the font styles, etc., I select that. And then what happens, it strips away a lot of the images that are there. And you can see now the web browser, for some people, depending if they like that color, uh, would be easier, easier to use. But what it does do, it's given me that ability to choose the, the features that, uh, that I want in order to set it up for myself. So I'm going back into tools now, internet options. And again, as I did before, back into colors, I'm going to undo these things here, say OK. And back into the accessibility, you can see now what's happened is I've got a nice uh, white background there because I've uh, changed it back to the Windows default colors. Take this off, and I'm going to use something called where it says user style sheet, where you can create style sheets. And again, please don't be worried about the technical aspects of this because we've already got some made up for you. But just to give you an example, I'm going to browse uh, to the desktop where I've saved one, and I've got one here called high contrast, which I'm going to open and say OK. And what that will do is when I activate that style sheet, is now you can see now it's actually taken away all the background information. Uh, it's got quite large font styles there. And again, uh, it's very crisp and clear to see. So I'll do that one more time because I'm going to apply another style sheet that we've got. Back into Tools, Internet Options. Let's bring this box up again. Into Accessibility. I'm going to browse to my desktop where I saved it. I'm going to use this one here. I think this is a yellow background. Say OK to that. And let it quickly change that style sheet. And now I've got a nice yellow with black fonts and some blue hyperlinks on that page. OK, so you'll be thinking now, well, where am I going to get this information from? Where am I going to get these style sheets from? But I'm just going to go back and undo what we just did so we can get it back to its natural default looking style. And just on the tab here, uh, one of the services that the, both JISCs uh, have, have put together is the e-learning accessibility and inclusion blog, blog that's been put together by Margaret and, and myself. Uh, one uh, link that might be of interest to you is the resources link, because this is where we've got a lot of these style sheets that you can, you can download. They're already made for you. So just about halfway down the page, there's customizing background and font colors. Not only is there a tutorial to take you through it step by step, but we also have a, a bank of these style sheets that you can get. So it's as simple as, let's do the yellow background black text, 
is right clicking onto the link, so I'm right clicking onto the link and I want to save target as, I'm saving that, I'm going to save that to my desktop and it's telling me in there, yellow background, black font, I'm going to save that down to my, I'll close that down. And now let's try it on, on this page, see what it looks like on this page. Go down to Tools, Internet Options, into Accessibility. You can see it's just a couple of steps, it's very easy to do. Select User Style Sheet, into Browse, there's that style sheet there, yellow background, black font. Let's open it up, say OK to that, and OK, and look at that. OK, nice big chunky text with a nice yellow background. So you can customise this uh, really uh, to meet a range of, of needs for, for different learners, not just on the web page, but in your VLE and on your internet as well.